Who's never used a fire extinguisher? One, two, three, four. Perfect. Come on up here. One, two, three, four. All right, so we're going to look at this real quickly, four different ways to use a fire extinguisher. And before we do this, we're in an outdoor environment. The wind might shift, so if the cloud from the fire extinguisher moves to you, you're allowed to move. I had one guy who went like this because he wanted to breathe some to see how bad it was. So, um, so for those of you who have never used a fire extinguisher, somebody tell me what's the very first thing we have to do before it'll work. Pull the pin. Pull the pin. Andy, pull the pin. Now, my point on this, see how long it takes if you've never done one. Yeah. Okay, good. Just like a grenade. You can go ahead and drop the pin if you want to. All right? Now, this is our bad guy. Okay. You're going to give him a two-second blast. How close does she want to be? Uh, depends how far away she can be. got a gun on close. By the way, the wind just shifted now. It's going this way. So yeah. Come over on, on, this, on this side. All right. What I want you to do is maybe just from just from like right in here, and all you're gonna do is just like a little two second blast at him. And as you're blasting, don't be afraid to run in on him a little bit. Two seconds. You ready? Good. That's good. Now, would you agree if somebody? Oh, 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 run, kids! I, I said the wind shifted this way. Dean, how do you like breathing that stuff? All right. Now, this is in a windy environment. If you're inside a building, there's not a lot of wind, right? So that's gonna create a little bit of a, uh, little bit of a, of a cloud. So let's give Andy a little round of applause. Wow. You're gonna pass it off to somebody. <laughs> not him? Not him? Oh, here. No, Carol or Tierney. All right, oh, now. Oh, he looks like the Carol. Carol's gonna demonstrate <laughs> another down, technique. And this technique is to retreat while you're laying down a fog, all right? Now, with our wind being this way, what I want you to do is you're right here, and you're just going to back up towards Tom. And all I want you to do is you're going to do this like is the shooter, and I'm this close. Well, <laughs> he's, he snuck up on you. Just <laughs> you're just going to do a few circles as you back up. I'm going to be right behind you and make sure you don't fall. Just little circles as you back up. Go. Right. Keep backing. Good. Good. Stop. All right. Now, you can see we're not in a confined area. There's a lot of stuff that's in there, all right? Now, who's next, Tierney? Tierney, you're gonna demonstrate our third technique. This floor surface, it doesn't work very well, but those nice, smooth wax tile floors, right? Lobbies, finished concrete. You put this on finished concrete, it gets very, very slippery. So all I want you to do is you're gonna come in here and you're just gonna go like this as you back up. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. That's good, that's okay. good, all right? Now, hypothetically, this is now, this is now empty. This is now empty. The guy, I don't know what your name is. Jack, come on over here. This is now empty, right? You're going after the bad guy with that. What do you think would be a good technique? Fire the bomb. I like a lot of people will do like the guy in the video and they want to come in this way, right? If I come in this way, then you come at me. If he comes in at me this way, right? I can maybe get a palm strike in, I can block, I can do whatever. But if we use Jack's technique, not on me, but on the garbage can, don't hurt it too badly, <laughs> right? He's going to come in in a jabbing motion, which is much harder to defend against. Okay, yeah, so you can come in this way or go this way. Yeah, I like that one even better. Right? You can, by the way, if we hit him right about here, what's going to happen? Yeah, does that make sense? And then if all else fails, you throw it at him.